Minecraft 1.16 will forever be known as my favorite update. Not for the amazing new piglins and their bastions, nor for the expansive overhaul to the nether generation. No, nothing more, nothing less than the addition of chains. A new block that unlocked new ways of building that have never been possible before. That being said, my name is System Z, and today we're checking out eight of the best build hacks using chains in Minecraft 1.16. If you enjoyed the video, consider becoming a member, where you'll gain access to awesome community perks, like being invited to my Minecraft server. And the best part is you'll be supporting me and my channel along the way. Click the join button below for more information, and as always, here is today's tier 3 shoutout. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you'll likely know that I've been rooting for the addition of chains for ages, even going so far as replacing iron bars as lantern chains in my own resource pack. Chains are incredibly useful for creating really unique build hacks, thanks to its unique properties that set it apart from other post-like decorations, mainly being that it doesn't connect to surrounding blocks. That being said, let's get started with these really cool build hacks using chains in Minecraft. First and foremost, you can use the new chain block with a cauldron to create a new and improved water well, which is the perfect decoration to replace the wells found in villages. This was previously possible using either iron bars or fences, but was missing that special something that comes with using chains instead. If you use a water bottle to fill up the cauldron, it even appears as though the chain continues deeper into the bucket. You can also add more decorations, like a lever or even a grindstone, to add mechanics to the well to help it appear more functionable. Speaking of functionality, imagine if the chains could be connected to redstone to actually raise and lower the connected block using a lever or other redstone mechanic. Let me know what you think of that idea down in the comments below. That's all for this build hack, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have a personal favorite of mine that you may have spotted from another video I made a long time ago, but this time it's new and improved thanks to the chain. You can create an amazing cage for your pet parrot using a scaffolding block sitting on an upside down trapdoor suspended from a fence post using a chain. And if you have access to commands, you can even summon a parrot with no AI inside so that it stays sitting in the cage. You can still do this without commands, but it really depends on how stubborn your parrot really is. Of course, you can also use this concept for hanging cages for other mobs, like creepers or zombies. You'll just need a bigger cage, likely using iron bars. This is a great bonus decoration for dungeons, but I have a feeling you'll prefer this next build hack over that. That being said, let me know what you think of this parrot cage design down in the comments below. Probably one of my favorite ways to use the new chain block is for captive villagers and other mobs, using a combination of chains and a hidden easter egg. If you didn't already know, you can flip a mob upside down by naming it Dinnerbone with a name tag. This easter egg has had no better time to shine than now with the addition of chains. For example, flip a villager upside down and place a few chains above it and you'll have yourself a tied up hanging villager, a perfect decoration for the new bastions or even a pillager outpost. Unfortunately, the best version of this build hack does require a barrier block, which can only be obtained using commands. But you can work around this by using a trap door beneath the mob. You can also use other mobs, from zombies to a chicken. The Dinnerbone Easter Egg works on essentially any mob in the game. You can also use this build hack to decorate dungeons with captive villagers, which for map makers could be a great opportunity for a save the villager type mechanic. You can also use this with animals for a butcher shop. The possibilities are truly endless. <laughs> There is nothing quite as fun as demolition, and sometimes in Minecraft, you need just that. That's why this next build hack is super useful. By using a chain, you can create various different vehicles of destruction, from cranes to a wrecking ball, simply by hanging a ball of destruction or a crane hook on the end of a chain. Chains are a great decoration in construction sites, where things are constantly being lifted, dropped, and swung around. Using slabs and chains, you can make platforms that, when used with a lever or grindstone, make for a realistic pulley system. The possibilities are truly endless and entirely up to your imagination. Most of these things could have been done using iron bars, but the texture and the model of the chain make it even more believable.
Demolition can be pretty crazy, and sometimes it's nice to relax and water your plants. This next build hack is one of my favorite ways to decorate a house in Minecraft. Using the chain and a sweet berry bush, you can get a very nice and simple hanging plant design. The perfect decoration for your Minecraft house. The easiest way to create this build hack is using commands, though workarounds do exist for survival friendliness. Simply use the set command to replace a block with an age 3 sweet berry bush directly beneath a chain. You can also do this with other plants, like the top half of a rose bush or a peony. Alternatively, you can use a flower pot as a more survival friendly option. This is a very subtle build hack that will certainly help make your home feel more cozy, which is why it's certainly amongst my favorites. Build hacks in Minecraft are all about using your imagination to create the closest possible version of things from the real world into Minecraft. This next build hack is a great example of this. Using a grindstone and chain, you can create a really nice pull lever for a castle bridge. It may be a really simple build hack, but it's certainly effective. You could also do something similar using lecterns as a castle door, and the grindstone and chain for a pull-down lever to lift the castle door. Adding fake mechanics to any build really brings it all together. In this example, you really get the feeling that the castle bridge can be raised or lowered by pulling that lever. Using the various decorations Minecraft has to offer, and just a little bit of imagination, you can create anything. A majority of the build hacks you've seen thus far have been different versions of hanging decor, and to a certain extent, what else would you expect from chains? They are incredibly useful for the fact that they don't connect to nearby blocks, and there are various different ways to take advantage of this property. For example, you can easily create spacious tree houses by hanging a slab platform from the canopy of a tree using chains in all four corners. And while the corners may be taken, you can still place blocks directly adjacent to the chains without compromising the design. This gives us the possibility to make various hanging platforms that are both spacious and nice to look at, something we previously couldn't do before without chains. As of right now, the chain is not able to be waterlogged, though I'm sure this is temporary and bound to change with a future update. For now, you can use an anvil and the chain for a ready to set anchor on the side of a boat. And of course, once they're able to be waterlogged, you can extend it down into the ocean for an active anchor, keeping your boats in place. This would be a fantastic build hack, of course, once waterlogging is possible for chains. For now, we'll have to settle for an anchor decoration on the side of a boat. And last but certainly not least, we can now create swings. There are two different types of swings that I like to use, one being a seated swing and the other being a bed swing or a hammock. Using two trapdoors and chains, you can create a really compact swing design that before would have not been possible. Again, going back to the properties of connection, using iron bars before would have just combined the two blocks together. Chains, however, stay as a post, giving you the space between the center of the two blocks for seating. This is a very simple decoration, while also being super effective for parks, forests, or even an addition to tree houses. You can also use a couple more trapdoors and any color of bed that you like to create a hammock, which is a perfect decoration for your first few days of surviving in Minecraft. Throw a couple of chests around and a crafting bench and you've got the perfect starter camp. These are only a few of the countless ways to use chains in the latest update. I've been asking for them to be added to Minecraft for what seems like forever, and now they're finally in the game, giving us access to unlimited different decorations by mixing and matching the various other decorations currently in the game. Obviously, these build hacks are some of my favorite, but I'm bound to have missed a couple of great designs. That being said, if you found a cool way to use chains, feel free to send a photo on Twitter or in my Discord, both linked below. I'd love to check them out. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You can also turn on notifications to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. Also, I would like to welcome 50,000 of you to the channel as we've recently just passed 450,000 subscribers here on the channel, having only just recently passed 400,000. It seems like just yesterday we were celebrating 100,000 subscribers. I could never thank you enough for allowing my dreams to come true, helping me grow and supporting me daily. 
I have genuinely the best community a guy could ever ask for. But anyways, like I said, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what your thoughts on Minecraft 1.16 are down in the comments below. This update has been absolutely incredible, and I am truly incredibly excited for it. That being said, my name has been System Z, you guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.